Hey guys, ViscosComb24 here, bringing you a real quick redstone video. Today I'm going to be showing you all this. It is my super compact 9x9 cave door. As you can see, it all closes. There it goes. When I go on over to the back side, you can see it looks the exact same as the front. And when I go back on over to the front side and flick the lever again, you can see it will also all open. The opening is a bit slower than the closing, but this is largely due to the fact that I used a lot of entities on the sides. This is one of the first times that I've used entities in one of my compacted cave doors. As you can see, there are three armor stands and a minecart on both sides. I'm also really, really happy with how the sides turned out. I think that the flattened layout looks really satisfying, as well as all of these pistons here pushing observers and the pistons for soft inversion. I was able to make roughly a 1,300 block improvement on my other design. My previous attempt at a compacted 9x9 cave door was 17 wide, 17 deep, and 24 tall, so at a volume of 6,936 blocks, while this new one is 15 wide, 15 deep, and 24 tall, so it has a volume of 5,400 blocks. I'm really, really proud of how this thing has turned out. I'm really, really happy with it. I used a lot of mechanics that I don't normally use, like these hopper pulse extenders, and pushing down containers with items in them. I needed a signal strength of 15, which is why this is a hopper filled to the brim. And um, yeah, I'm again, really, really proud of this thing. I didn't know if it was possible to make it this small and these quads were quite the pain, but it's all turned out pretty good, I think. And again, I'm very, very happy with the end result. If you want me to make a video where I nerd out about all the mechanics because I'm skimming over a lot of the areas that gave me trouble, like this right here, using this to sort of lock the sides so that they didn't extend too early. Um, yeah, if you want me to make a video on that, I, I guess you can tell me in the comments and I might eventually make a video going over all the mechanics. But yeah, hope you all enjoyed this real quick video. I'm ViscosComb24 and I'll see you next time.